Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Love of Tim Tristan and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over a mod called Cyclic and we're going to have to do it in, at least in two parts. Uh, but today we're going to go over some really cool stuff that Cyclic adds if you decide to use it. And yeah, let's just get into it. It has some really cool stuff. And we even had a wandering villager come up over here and test out some of our stuff for us. So it was pretty funny. All right, first of all, we're gonna start with some flint shears. So not just regular shears, now you can make flint shears. So you can start earlier with just four sticks, two pieces of flint, and a string. And if we go over here, you know, if we just harvest some stuff, they just don't last as long, which is okay, because, you know, they're not made of iron. But then we have obsidian shears and that's two obsidian and four iron ingots and that gives us obsidian shears and they last for a while see that barely took it down look at that so the durability on these are a lot better which is nice all right so next we're going to make it's called a tree scythe so we're going to use a stone hatchet uh stone axe excuse me two sticks and two uh, coal. Let me make sure that's right. Coal and not charcoal. Oh, charcoal. Yep, yep. Because one of them is coal, one of them is charcoal, so I always have to remember. So two charcoal, since I have tinkers tables in here to, you know, set them out that way. So that makes our lovely little tree scythe. And if you look at it, it says mass leaf removal. So if we go over here, doesn't look like it's really doing anything, but if you hold down shift, if you right click, sorry, if you right click on it, it removes all these at once. So pretty awesome and pretty cheap to make, right? It's lovely. So that's pretty easy and that's just that. Now next we have the Scythe Forager. And that is a golden pickaxe, two iron ingots, and two sticks. And that makes our golden pickaxe, uh, golden scythe. Yeah. And that, as you can see, picks all the flowers. So if you need to go flower picking, you definitely want to make one of these. And I don't know about you, but I go flower picking. So it just harvests a whole bunch of them, and then you simply just have to go pick them up. Pretty awesome, right? Right, right? Yeah. All right, next we have a brush scythe. So for this one, we're going to use a stone hoe, two iron nuggets, and two sticks. Now this is the brush scythe, and of course this just, it's like a big fancy lawnmower, right? That's what I like to refer to it as. It gets rid of all the grass. So if you want to leave the flowers, just get the grass. Look at this. Clean up an area, you know, make it more beautiful. You definitely want to make one of these. It's really cheap to make. And look how it's simply right clicking once. And look how, look at the durability on it too. Like this lasts forever. And then of course, if you also wanted to pick up the flowers, just switch to this one and voila. So if you want to clear an area out really fast, these are definitely tools that you want to make. So lovely, right? I love them. They're so awesome. All right, so there's some other stuff we want to make too, though. So next we have, let's move these. Um, need that, we will need that. All right, so next we have, it is called the cask. And this stores fluid. So first of all, you make a barrel, the regular Minecraft barrel. And then it's four strings surrounding it, and then four leather. And not that you can see here, but it, as you can see, it holds 8,000. So if we were to take, um, well, I don't have any fluid on me right now, but let's see. Uh, bucket. Whoops. Gave air. Thanks, not what I wanted. Give me air, give me water. 
And so, as you can see, it would hold eight buckets. But pretty nice, good thing to add. So, yeah, that's that. And then we have, these are really cool, because this is a crate to store stuff. Not only is it bigger, but it's a little bit safer. So it's a sandstone in the middle with four iron bars and four chests. Very easy to make and look, all that extra storage. Next we have a disenchanter, which is something personally I think mine sh Minecraft should add anyway. So you have your regular enchanting table in the middle. You put three obsidian at the bottom and five emeralds surrounding it. And that's going to give you this disenchanter. It does have to be powered, but the way it works is once it's powered, you take something that you want to take the enchantment off of, add a book. Dun, 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 dun. So there we added the book. So it's going to put the enchantment on the book for us. Voila! Now we have a silk touch book. Woot woot! So that's how it works. It's really easy. It's a lot of fun. And honestly, I think it should be a regular Minecraft thing. Anyway, next we have a soundproofer. And oh my gosh, if you've ever made anything or you have your big animal farm or whatever, you definitely want to make one of these. So this in the middle is uh, a bone block, right? Yeah, bone block in the middle and four uh, orange dye surrounding it. So then we're just going to take, um, let's see, are you guys being loud over here? I don't remember if I have mine turned down. Let's see real quick. Um, options. Obviously, I have it on peaceful for this. Um, so it can sound. So let's turn friendly creatures way up. Okay. They're really loud, but now... You're going to make me look bad, aren't you? Each block reduces sound volume nearby. So, if you stop walking. Ah! Oh, it did, there it goes. Okay. See, if you could tell, it did reduce it. But anyway, these are really great to have, um, especially when you start running, like, machines and stuff. So, these are a really great thing to have. All right, next, we're going to have this thing right here, which is a torch launcher. Look at this. What do I need for this? I need to click it on. Ah, I clicked it off earlier. So, this is really cool, and we're going to talk about this charm later. Whoops. Uh, this is really cool because you have torches in here, which is why it has the durability bar, but you can la launch torches. Look at this. And you can launch them pretty far. I love it. I think it's awesome. Again, Minecraft should add something like that. So it's two obsidian, two golden ingots, and any kind of log. The log doesn't matter. It just has to be, you know, like a log. So then that makes your torch launcher, and then voila. Whoops. If you accidentally hit things, it will, like you can accidentally hit mobs with it too. It's quite funny. Uh, if you aim right. <laughs> So, you have to be careful because you can't actually damage the mobs. But I think it's hilarious. Oh, and we got bounced. All right, so let's turn this off. Uh, that is something we will talk about in cyclic number two. Um, but here we have, let me go sleep real quick. All right, had to go sleep because nobody wants to see it in the dark. All right, so this are these launch pads and these launch pads are freaking awesome. They do hurt, though. Oh, my God, no! That's why I made my bed right there. That stuff is for next time. All right, so let's grab our stuff back. Um, so you got to be careful. I like to demonstrate the, the flaws and stuff uh, if you've seen my previous videos. But these are a lot of fun. 
Um, but you can also launch mobs with them, which makes it really fun. So it's three slime balls on the top, three of uh, iron ingots, and three leather. So they're really cheap to make. And just think if you put these on the perimeter of your base to try to keep mobs out. Um, I think I have to change it. Uh, let's demonstrate a little bit. Let's do normal and let's see. See, it doesn't mop. Whoops. I want to do that again. So it won't launch those, but um, it is supposed to launch like zombies. I mean, they're going to burn right now, but... Okay, so it's not going to launch them either. So maybe it's a different one I'm thinking of. Yeah, see, it's not launching them at all. Which is okay. Ah! We gotta be careful. We're gonna die again. Oh, no. Skeleton zombie. I love the skeleton zombie. Alright, next we have... It is, um... Oh, what is it called? Tempered glass. So, tempered... Did you just shove me? Tempered glass, immune to light explosions and wither blast. So, this is really cool. You know, creepers coming up and blowing up your crap, you know. So, one obsidian at the bottom. And this is just, the rest of it is just uh, black stained glass. That's it. It's just black stain, stained glass. Come on, little slimy. Let's see if it'll make you launch. Nope, it won't. Alright, so, um, but this stuff is really good. Like, you want to have this all over the place. Creeper spawns, you have this, you know, in your house. Creeper's not going to explode this. Weather's not going to explode it. Nothing. So it's awesome. Alright, next we have these fluid tanks, and I love them. They stack top to bottom. They do not stack side to side. So if you try to stack them side by side, it's not going to work. But top to bottom, it does, and it'll uh, continue to hold extra fluid. Uh, where did that go? Oh, in the back. All right. Okay, turned it back to peaceful just so the slimes will stop spawning. Because they get everywhere. All right, so uh, for this, you're going to want the casket uh is it casket or barrel um, oh man hold on okay so the cask that we made over there this is what you're gonna want in the middle with four glass and it's just regular glass and four iron ingots and that'll make each one of these tanks so then the tanks you can fill up and each tank, uh, 64 buckets. Awesome. So, so much better than the, um, these things here, the cask. I don't know why, I always forget the name of those. So much better than the cask, and because it will stack, think of all the lava you can produce, or all the water you can store, or whatever. Plus, when you break it, it takes your fluid with you. Does it say it on there? I don't remember. Mm, it does not, but we can test that theory. Huh? Oh, you know what? The one I put here should have water in it. Nope. When you break it, the water goes bye-bye. Okay. So let's test that theory. In modded it does, but let's see if it actually works in non-modded. Okay, so we're just going to take one water bucket, put it in there. We're going to pick it up with you have to do with a pickaxe. Yep. Wanted to make sure it wasn't just a different mod that does that. But yes, it'll keep all your liquids there when you pick it up. So if you want to go pick up 
uh, water, bring it back to your base, lava, whatever, then there you go. All right, next we have a trash void, which is awesome. So like for instance, um, it's not letting me click on it. All right, so this actually works a little bit different. All right, so let me grab cable real quick. All right, so the way it works is you have to have a, a chest or something hooked up to it and you have to have it on extract. But if I put something in here, for example, a stick, it's gonna take it and void it because it's a trash container. So basically, it's like putting something in the trash that you don't want. So the way you make this is iron ingot on top, a chest in the middle, and iron nuggets around on the bottom. So you're gonna have five of them. And th that will make this, and then like I said, you just have to connect something to it with a, um, cable um and i will link a video because i talked about the item cables and the wireless transfers and all that um in a separate video uh, i was talking about sky factory 4 but it pertains to most mods too uh this mod too all right um let me go sleep again okay so next we have an item user and basically the way it works is it does a right click on stuff. So for instance, you could set it here and have it bone meal the trees to make them grow. And then you could have the harvester, which we'll talk about in the next video, uh, harvesting them. So I also have an automated video, so I'll link that one down below, how I set up an automation in Sky Factory 4 but again, it would work on other stuff too. Okay, right, so to make this, you need two gold blocks, a dropper, two uh, hooks, um, a magma block, and three obsidian. And so I will have that linked because that has how I have it set up and everything. So uh, if you want more on that. Now this one is a battery and it's a redstone block in the middle, four iron hatches, and four clay and that's going to create a battery which i have over here along with the peat uh that we're gonna uh, i'll show you how to make in a minute so the battery just works by whatever you have creating power so in this case a peat generator whatever you have creating power you set it next to it and then you tell it where to pull it from and you tell each machine whether to export or store power and then you tell this whether to export or store power. So that's how I had the uh, disenchanter powered. But um, this this is the battery. So the battery is pretty good. It's pretty useful. You definitely want it to store powder. Now, how to make the peat generator? So first of all, we're going to need this biomass. And for that, you need any four kind of leaves on the outer corners, any kind of small flowers on the direct four and a sapling in the middle and that'll create four of these biomass excuse me all right so for the biomass then we need to make this peat so for the biomass we're going to take podzol which is regularly grown and you have to pull it up but podzol and four biomass in the corners and then charcoal on either side and that's going to make this dry peat bog. Okay. So the dry peat bog, we're going to set in water and it's going to hydrate it. And then the peat, we're going to hydrate some more. So we're going to hydrate it. See how quick it did there? So you want it right next to it. We'll see that's right next to it and it didn't do it that fast. New recipe, thanks. Whoops. And it's weird how it did it so fast. But anyway, you're gonna take this saturated peat 
you're going to put it in the furnace and it's going to cook it up and it's going to create these the peat and they look like ingots and this is how we're going to make our peat generator so we're going to take four of those peat bricks an iron ingot in the middle two pistons on top and two redstone on either side and that's going to make our peat generator and that's what i showed you back there so in the peat generator you're just going to put my dog says I should hurry up. Uh, so um, you're going to use it to create power. All right. Now for this one, this one is so, so cool. Okay. So this you're going to use four, four coral on the outside. And it's any of the coral blocks. Two snowballs and the iron ingot in the middle and cyan dye on the top and bottom. So this is a monster ball. So... If you want to take any of these mobs and capture it, no. No. hey, where'd it go? No. There it is. No. No. Ah, there we go. You have to be like really close to him. So you right click to catch him. It does use it up when you place it back down. But they're not that hard to make. So think about it. When you go exploring, you could take quite a bit with you. And see, oh, see, now those two are hydrated. Okay. Um, but yeah, look at that. That's not that hard to make. Find an ocean, get a whole bunch of coral, get some snowballs, make a snowman and get a snowman uh, snowball generator going. And um, if you don't know how to do that, just let me know. I, I, I might consider making a video. Might. All right, now these are the traps that I set, and these are fun, and apparently it killed my wandering trader because he just up and left, and I don't know where the llamas are. Maybe they died too, but these are pretty fun, and these will kill mobs. All right, so if we have, oh, that's a horse. I mean, it doesn't matter what they are, <laughs> and there are different ones. This one's just iron spikes, these are cursed, and these, as you can tell, are fire. Works on all different kinds of mobs. Wish it would tell me what he was cursed with. But it curses them, so not sure if you'd want the cursed, but I guess if you're trying to get certain drops or something. But they're pretty deadly, as you can see. And all you need is redstone activation See, I even got up there. <laughs> Redstone activation to get them going. All right, so to make the fire one, you're gonna have a fire charge in the middle. And for the most part, let me get this put out. Okay. For the most part, the recipes are gonna be very, very similar. You're gonna have three iron blocks on the bottom and three iron bars in this uh, pyramid type shape. So for the fire one, you're going to want a fire charge in the middle. And that makes this fire one that catches everything, including yourself, on fire. So be careful. But these are great to set up mob farms. They're great to set up as a perimeter, all kinds of stuff. Next, we're going to have the regular iron one, which is just the redstone in the middle. And that was the first one. It does the least amount of damage, but uh, it is a good one to start off with. And then this one is the cursed one, and it has the spider eye. So, for instance, if we go on the cursed one, you can see all of a sudden we have mining fatigue, weakness, slowness, bad luck. Like, it's bad stuff. So, also, if you're playing multiplayer and you have this mod installed, then, you know, watch out to everybody else around. All right, so this is only part two, uh, part one, excuse me. We are going to have a part two because there are so much more that Cyclist has cyclic has to offer including this anti-gravity ring which allows us to kind of fly in air and some charms and all kinds of stuff and yeah so we're gonna have to do a part two but this is part one hopefully helped you out a little bit hopefully you enjoyed it and if you did enjoy it and want to come see the next one make sure hit that subscribe button if you have any questions or comments leave them down below i do answer them and if you have any questions even if i don't know i will try to help you find the answer 
All right, until next time, this is Lava Temptress. Don't get burned. Bye.